Let's now have a look at the next kind of reaction, that is the substitution reaction. The substitution reaction. Now, till now we've discussed until the oxidation of alcohols. And now we're going to look at the substitution reaction. Now, we discussed earlier that unsaturated hydrocarbons are more reactive, right? Unsaturated carbons are more reactive. Hydrocarbons are more reactive because they have the presence of a double or triple bond, which is much weaker than a strong single sigma bond. And it breaks and forms new bonds, which are much stronger. And we also discussed that saturated hydrocarbons are to a very large extent unreactive because all the bonds are very strong sigma bonds and they usually don't break. But this substitution reaction is one of the exceptions to that rule. Basically, substitution reaction is a kind of reaction in which an atom or group of atoms or group of atoms replaces another atom or group of atoms in a compound in a compound right so that is called substitution reaction now let's have a look at substitution reaction with a clear example and this usually takes place in saturated hydrocarbons that's one thing to note let's take an example for example methane now the formula for methane is ch4 right now, CH4 methane is a saturated hydrocarbon. All sigma bonds, single bonds. All strong single sigma bonds. Saturated hydrocarbon. Now, let's have a look at the saturated hydrocarbon. This is the structure. Now, if this reacts with chlorine, Cl2, in the presence of sunlight h nu please remember this h nu this is the greek symbol nu this h nu represents sunlight okay h nu represents sunlight so this cl2 in presence of h nu what will happen this chlorine one chlorine is going to replace one hydrogen it is going to replace one hydrogen and in turn, it is going to form CH3 Cl, right? Plus, what else will form? This chlorine will react with the hydrogen to form HCl. And this CH3 Cl is what? Chloroethane. Chloromethane, sorry. It's chloromethane. Right? And this is what HCl gas, right? So this is the one step substitution. Here you can see chlorine. One chlorine atom replaces a hydrogen in the presence of sunlight from a saturated hydrocarbon. So if you see, it is substituting the position of hydrogen and hence it is called substitution reaction, right? Now this is the first step substitution, okay? This is only one step substitution. And this process is called chlorination chlorination of methane now it can be done with ethane also it can be done with propane also so chlorination of methane okay now this was the first step right if you actually go further even more reactions will take place now the ch3cl this ch3cl is going to again react with chlorine again in the presence of h nu that is sunlight and you the you then you will get C H two C L two plus again H C L C H two C L two. This is again dichloromethane. Dichloromethane. Next, this dichloromethane carbon C L C L H H is again going to react with chlorine. In the presence of H nu, very, very vigorously, and it is going to form CCl3H or CHCl3. 
plus again HCl. So this is going to be trichloromethane. And ultimately, this trichloromethane is going to again react with chlorine in the presence of sunlight to give CCl4 plus HCl. And this is called tetrachloromethane. Better name is carbon tetrachloride. Okay. So this is the final, final product of the four step chlorination of methane in substitution reaction. Okay. So this is how, you know, substitution takes place. Continuously the chlorine you know, one by one progressively is replacing 1,1 one, one hydrogen and ultimately it is forming carbon tetrachloride with HCl. Okay, fine. So this is an example of substitution reaction, which takes place, which is one of the reactions which takes place in saturated hydrocarbons. Another point to be noted here is that substitution reaction, as you saw here, it uses sunlight, right? So it is using up sunlight as a source of energy. Hence, this substitution reaction is an endothermic reaction. Okay, it is an endothermic reaction. That is, it uses up energy. Okay, it does not release energy, it uses energy. It is an endothermic reaction. Example, clearly, you're using sunlight to perform the substitution reaction. And this is uh, why it is an endothermic reaction. Right, so this is all with substitution reaction. A reaction which takes place in which an atom or group of atoms replaces another atom or group of atoms from a compound, especially an organic compound.